Hello students, welcome to the lecture on waste management and after this lecture, we will be able to learn the following objectives. Describe waste management, discuss domestic waste and its management, explain basic concept of biodegradable and non-biodegradable waste. Let's start with the concept of waste management in home. The house in which you and your family live needs to be clean and tidy as well as hygienic too for a good health of your family. The household waste management promotes the safe use, storage and disposal of hazardous materials by educating consumer to identify and avoid potentially hazardous products but only what is needed, use it up completely or share leftovers with someone who can use it recycle those materials that can be recycled and disposed of leftover or unwanted products through hazardous waste collection facilities. It is important to reduce the amount of waste we produce. This can be done in many ways. It is better to reduce the amount of waste we produce so we send less to landfill. Shop smart. Consider the packaging that foods are contained in. Buy loose fruits and vegetables, for example. Consider buying in bulk to minimize packaging waste. Do not buy disposal items such as razors and pens. They are bringing sites located across Lysess, Tershwind, as well as the 14 recycling and household waste sites. Waste is stored at the plants until it is needed to fuel the boilers to create energy. The most widely used process is the mass burn. The mass burn involves rubbish being burned on a moving grate. Air is normally injected both above and below the grate to make sure that the rubbish is burned properly. Effective placement of trash cans and bins throughout home is also key to good home waste management. After all, on top of protecting the environment, one probably wants to get rid of trash with a minimal amount of time and energy. When designing or remodeling, keep these things in mind as one strive to improve the functionality of home. Part of creating a beautiful home is creating a home that requires a manageable amount of maintenance. Interior designers are great professionals to consult with as they attack every angle of home design, including waste management. Several kinds of common household items are deemed to hazardous materials that require you to haul this trash to a hazardous waste disposal site. The classified over 500 specific hazardous waste materials, some of them are more commonly found in homes than others. Let us now understand the domestic waste and its management. The problem of domestic waste is drawing increasing attention of the people as huge garbage is lying down uncollected beside the roads, streets, dustbins and on the ground which is causing threat to the environment as well as endangering public health. The growing problem of lack of solid waste management collection as well as improper disposal techniques also lead to various diseases and even death of the animals, especially cows, birds and stray dogs that wander and ramages through the waste for food. Many times the animals like the cows, buffaloes eat up the plastic along with the food and do it the death of animals and shoes. Uncollected domestic waste is causing health hazard as well as polluting to the environment and endangering the life of the people at large. With a growing population, the huge waste is being generated day by day. This wide use of plastic, advanced technology and other materialistic things. This resulted in different characteristics of waste which become complicated problem for management of domestic waste and disposal techniques. With the growing population, the huge waste is being generated day by day. Now moving on to the next topic, basic classification of waste in the community. Classifying waste into groups that pose similar risk to the environment and human health facilitates the management and appropriate disposal. Six waste classes are used, special waste, liquid waste, hazardous waste, restricted solid waste, general solid waste, putrescible, general solid waste, non-putrescible, special waste. Special waste is a class of waste that has unique regulatory requirements. The potential environmental impacts of special waste need to be managed to minimize the risk of harm to the environment and human health. Special waste are clinical and related waste, asbestos waste, waste tires, 
Producer of special waste do not need to make any further assessment of their waste if it falls. Clinical waste means any waste resulting from medical, nursing, dental, pharmaceutical, skin penetration or other related clinical activity being waste that has the potential to cause injury, infection or offense and includes waste containing any of the following. Human tissue other than hair, teeth and nails, bulk body fluids or blood, visibly blood, stained body fluids, materials or equipment, laboratory specimens or culture. Asbestos waste. Asbestos means the fibrous form of those mineral silicates that belong to the serpentine or ampibald groups of rock forming minerals including actinolite, emulsite, brown asbestos, antophyllite, crystal tiled white asbestos, crocidolite, blue asbestos and trimolite. Liquid waste. Liquid waste means any waste that has an angle of repose of less than 5 degrees or becomes free flowing at or below 60 degrees Celsius or when it is transported or is not generally capable of being picked up by a spade or shovel. Hazardous waste. Many household products contain substances that are potentially harmful to the environment. They include medicines, aerosols, bulbs and fluorescent tubes, polishes, adhesive, household cleaners, drain cleaners, solvents, weed cleaners, and fertilizer. Restricted solid waste. Restricted solid waste would only include waste excess and classified as restricted solid waste. In assessing whether waste has been pre-classified as general solid waste, putrescible, animal waste includes dead animals and animal parts and any mixture of dead animals and animal parts, Food waste means a waste from the manufacture, preparation, sale or consumption of food but does not include grease trap waste. Waste may be classified as general solid waste, putrescible from time to time. General solid waste, putrescible, household waste that contain putrescible organics, waste from litter bins collected by or on behalf of local council, food waste, animal waste. General solid waste, non-putrescible. The following waste have been pre-classified as general solid waste, non putrescible Glass, plastic, rubber, plastic board, ceramics, bricks, concrete or metal, paper or cardboard, household waste from municipal cleanup that does not contain food waste, waste collected by or on behalf of local council from streak sweepings, garden waste, wood waste, drain motor oil containers that do not contain free liquids, Virgin excavated natural material, building and demolition waste. Garden waste means waste that consists of branches, grass, leaves, plants, lobbings, tree trunks, tree stems and similar materials and includes any mixture of those materials. Virgin excavated natural material means natural material that has been excavated or quarried from areas that are not contaminated with manufactured chemicals or processed residues as a result of industrial, commercial, mining or agricultural activities and that does not contain sulphide ores or soils and includes excavated natural material that meets such criteria for virgin excavated natural material as may be approved for the time being pursuant. Wood waste means sawdust, timber off cuts, wooden crafts, wooden packaging, wooden pallets, wood shavings and similar materials and includes any mixture of those material but does not include wood treated with chemicals such as copper chrome arsenate cca high temperature chrysote hdc pigmented emulsified chrysote pec and light organic solvent perseverant losp now we will discuss the concept of biodegradable the term biodegradable is used to describe materials that decompose through the action of bacteria, fungi and other living organisms. Temperature and sunlight may also play roles in the decomposition of biodegradable plastic and other substances. In many cases, scientists can come up with biodegradable alternatives to non-biodegradable products. Non-biodegradable plastic are a particular problem because they take up so much room in landfills or require special handling at waste incinerators. Governments and industries have taken various measures to replace non-biodegradable materials with those that will degrade or decompose. 
The packaging industry continues to experiment with biodegradable packaging for food and fast food. In fact, the public is ultimately the driving force behind the development of biodegradable substances because litter on beaches, roadsides and parks is an eyesore with apparent potential to harm the environment. Let us now know the meaning of biodegradable and non-biodegradable waste. The waste can be recognized as either biodegradable or non-biodegradable and this can be a useful distinction when one consider product choices and waste disposal. Biodegradable materials Biodegradable matter is any food scraps, garden waste or materials or products made from plant or animal derived substances or artificial man-made materials that are similar enough to organic matter and thus can still be broken down by a natural process. Non-biodegradable materials Non-biodegradable material is an inorganic or man-made matter that will not decompose. Any material that is non-biodegradable does not decay or break down into similar forms of matter. Relying on non-biodegradable materials and ingredients is an unsustainable and polluting practice. Where does our waste go? Our waste can end up in a number of places, landfill and incineration. Recycle centers, sanitary sewers or septic tanks as compost or as litter and pollution in both our natural environment and urban towns and cities. When we clean our homes and ourselves, the products we use end up as waste wash down the drains and into sewers or septic tanks. It is important to try and ensure any biodegradable waste is composted and does not end up in landfill. Compost how can we improve our methods of waste disposal? In order to ensure biodegradable waste is disposed of correctly when need to support composting through our local council or within our own homes and communities. Create your own compost bin, one that suits your space, needs and lifestyles. We can all compose our kitchen and garden scraps and even newspapers and paper products. Avoid throwing away any materials that can be reused or recycled. Ensure where available they end up in a recycling facility. Look for cleaning products that clearly state certified biodegradable ingredients. Now coming to our next topic of this lecture, reduce, reuse and repair. There are three easy ways to cut down your waste that can make a big difference to the amount that end up in landfill. These are known as the three R's, reduce, reuse and recycle. By thinking about what you really need and refusing what you do not, giving items more than one life and deposing of rubbish thoughtfully, you can reduce waste and show others that you value our resources and the environment. Reduce. Waste reduction or minimization or waste prevention is all about reducing waste at source, not creating it in the first place. Excessive waste is often due to the inefficient use of resources or bad planning. Reuse Reuse means using a product more than once either for the same purpose, for example, returnable glass milk bottles or for a different purpose such as old jam jars for food storage. Recycle Recycling is an effective way to manage waste materials once they have been generated if they cannot be reused. Recover By recovering the leftover energy in the rubbish, we are helping to achieve our aspiration to send zero waste to landfill. Now Reduce, reuse, recycle, in that order. Great things come in small packages and you can never have enough of a great thing, right? Problem is, that's a lot of packaging. That's why the first step in the three R's is to reduce. Luckily, we've got choices. Good things can also come in one big package, using less of our resources now, saving more for later. And that's why Reduce comes first in Reduce, Reuse, Recycle. In a close second comes Reuse, because that empty container is no one-hit wonder. With a little reinvention, it can live another day. And that's one less new product that needs to be manufactured, meaning one more lick here for everyone, and one more lick here for you. Step 2 can be found nearly everywhere, but it goes by many names. Some know it as rechargeable, others as donatable, and many more as machine washable, making all of these things reusable and, in a way, reducible. But that brings us to the fan favorite, the pretty sister of the three R's, Recycle. Everyone is chanting, you're number one, but they should be chanting, you're number three. Don't get me wrong, three is still great. 
Trash can only ranks in at 2,082, just ahead of feed it to an infant, so three is up there. But there is a reason why there are another two in front of it, because the recycling process still uses plenty of resources in itself. But that is to make sure that we aren't turning the Rocky Mountains into landfills, a noble effort, so there's no question about it. But the point to remember is that there are easier paths. So the next time you see one of these on the bottom of one of those, consider all three steps in order. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Now we will discuss recycle waste. There are several ways of arranging to recycle waste. You can take it to a recycling facility or use a curbside collection if available. There are some types of permanent recycling facility, bring banks, Civic amenity sites and recycling centers. Bring banks. There are almost 2,000 bring brands throughout. Civic amenity sites. Civic amenity sites are similar to bring banks but can accept a larger variety of items. Recycling centers. Recycling centers are also staffed and gated and have specific opening hours but accept a smaller variety of items than civic amenity sites. Curbside collection. Curbside collection of recycling waste, often known as a green bin collection, is increasingly being run by private companies. Recycling materials include plastic bottles, glass bottles, drink cans, food tins, newspaper or magazines, cardboard and compostable material. Composting All materials should be cleaned to avoid contamination, wash out bottles, cans, yogurt pots, etc. before recycling. The items most commonly recycled are glass bottles and jars, recycled lids, caps separately, paper, newspaper, magazine, telephone books, office paper, junk mail, comics and light cardboard, laminated or wax paper like paper cups, drink cartoons for milk juice, etc. What After happens? This, one aluminum can recycled is like saving energy to turn on our TV for two hours and running our computer for three hours. One ton of aluminum recycled is equivalent to 13 tons of carbon dioxide prevented or saves 37 barrels of oil. Paper is the most common item found in our trash. Recycling one ton of paper saves 17 trees or saving 4,100 kilowatt hours of electricity. And recycling one ton of plastic can save 1 to 2,000 gallons of gas. Waste segregation is easy and recycling can be fun. What happens to recycle items? Batteries. Lead acid batteries from cars, trucks, boats, tractors, etc. are made of plastic and contain dilute sulfuric acid and lead. During the recycling process, the batteries are crushed, the acid is drained off and neutralized, and the plastic and lead are compacted and baled for recycling. Glass. Glass must be sorted according to color to avoid contamination. It is crushed and turned into colored. In the making of new glass, colored can be up to 40% of the raw materials. This amount to significant saving in raw materials and energy needed to melt the glass. Vehicles Vehicles can be dismantled, stripped of any valuable materials and crushed for smelting. Household white goods Household appliances that does a particular job in the home like washing machines, cookers, dryers, dish washers and toasters can be dismantled. The ferrous and non-ferrous metals are separated and the rest is disposed of. There are also specialist recyclers who process the more complex items such as computers and television. These recycle separate components of the equipment for resale or recycling of valuable materials. They may also re Furbish entire system for resale. Aluminum. The aluminum can is one of the most valuable waste material. Aluminum foil can also be recycled. Both the heavy foil that comes with takeaway meals, ready cooked meals, etc., and the lighter tin foil used in cooking. Oil. Waste mineral oil, fuel oil, and lubrication oil can be reprocessed and resold as low grade industrial lubricant or industrial boiler fueled oil to generate heat, electricity or both. Vegetable oil used as cooking oil should never be mixed with mineral oil. Paper For fire safety reason, paper recycling facilities must be supervised. Newspapers, magazines, office paper, junk mail, light cardboard, telephone books, greeting cards, calendars and diaries. 
Paper bags, comics can all be recycled. Collected paper goes to paper mills where it is recycled into new paper. Plastic. The plastic industry has a code for labeling different plastic materials to help with identification and recycling. The majority of plastic containers found in the home are made from HDPE, LDPE, PVC or PET. Most of the containers for most soft drinks are made from PET. Polyethylene thera platelet. These bottles can be shredded and recycled as fiber for the polyester lining for sleeping bags, pillows and quilted jackets. Recycled plastic can be used for fencing garden, furniture, car bumpers, plastic bags, PVC pipes and flooring. Green waste. Home composting provides an excellent soil conditioner and allows most kitchen and garden waste to be recycled. Some civic amenity centers provide composting services and sell the compost. Most local authorities also recycle Christmas trees. They are shredded and the savings are used for landscaping. Textiles, clothes and textiles that are suitable for resale are sent to charity shops to be sold. Clothes and textiles that are not suitable are recycled into carpet underlay, felt, machine, wiping clothes or fiber filler for furniture. Now in the end, let us summarize what we have learned in this lecture. The house in which you and your family live needs to be clean and tidy as well as hygienic too for a good health of your family. A household waste management promotes a safe use, storage and disposal of hazardous materials by educating consumer to identify and avoid potentiality hazardous products but only what is needed, use it up completely or share leftovers with someone who can use it, recycle those materials that can be recycled and disposed of leftover or unwanted products through hazardous waste collection facilities. Waste is stored at the plants until it is needed to fuel the boilers to create energy. The most widely used process is the mass burn. The mass burn involves rubbish being burnt on a moving grate. Air is normally injected both above and below the grate to make sure that the rubbish is burned properly. The problem of domestic waste is drawing increasing attention of the people as huge garbage is lying down uncollected beside the roads, streets, dustbins and on the ground which is causing threat to the environment as well as endangering public health. Special waste is a class of waste that has unique regulatory requirements. The potential environmental impacts of special waste need to be managed to minimize the risk of harm to the environment and human health. The term biodegradable is used to describe materials that decompose through the actions of bacteria, fungi and other living organisms. Temperature and sunlight may also play roles in the decomposition of biodegradable plastic and other substances. Non-biodegradable plastic are a particular problem because they take up so much room in landfills or require special handling at waste incinerators. The waste can be recognized as either biodegradable or non-biodegradable and this can be a useful distinction when one considers product choices and waste disposal. There are three easy ways to cut down your waste that can make a big difference to the amount that end up in landfill. These are known as the three R's, reduce, reuse and recycle. There are several ways of arranging to recycle waste. You can take it to a recycling facility or use a curbside collection if available.